Well, guys, I did tell you last episode that I was going to look around for some jobs. We've applied for two. Uh, so let's take a look at those first. But Eintracht Braunschweig has offered us an, a job interview. I think I was close to the pronunciation on that. I even put some inflection with some umlauts in there. Uh, so I think I was close. But uh, let's take a look at the job security. So there's the clubs available currently. Pretty long list. But again, I was looking in these two to three and a quarter, three and a half stars. Um some of the jobs just, you know, I, I didn't want to go back to Sweden, Norway. You know, I've been to Sweden a couple of times. I didn't want to go back to Wales, Jan Dudno, things like that. Didn't want to go back to Sweden. I really don't want to ruin Sweden. I may never go back to Sweden again because, you know, the time that we had there at Hammerby was so good uh, back in FM19, which I highly recommend you go back and watch that save. I had a great time doing that save. But anyway, um, we applied in Austria with uh, Lebendorf and Germany in the second Bundesliga with Braunschweig. The fans at Braunschweig laughed us off. So I was kind of put off by that. I'm surprised that they're actually interviewing us. I have This is the first one. I've probably been applied for a month. So anyway, let's go through the interview. I won't show you every interview, but I, I think we, you know, I'm, I'm doing some business at Bonnie Rig Rose, prepping for the upcoming season. The transfer window has already opened, but let's go to the interview. I'm glad you've given me the chance. I can get my message across. I always go with the easy language. I wonder if they really believe that. My standing or I've worked... I've worked successfully elsewhere. I've dedicated time, patience, and emotion to my job, and I think most people would agree. I could say that about my real-life job, too. <laughs> You've done some highly impressive work. I have, and that should be what you're focusing on, not all this other nitpicky stuff. Uh, let's see. I'm seeking a new challenge, and this opportunity is very appealing. What's the thought process? I'm only concerned with being, I, I'm, I'm in the running for two jobs. I don't think that's unreasonable. And I've specifically limited the number of jobs I was waiting for them to fall out. In fact, Bonnie Rigg did not say anything about applying for this job. When I applied for the second job, they came out and kind of said he was that I was being unprofessional. So uh mediocre i don't think so i haven't received any complaints uh, i'd be more than happy to work with a general manager uh, i don't wish to propose any changes all right here we go now we're getting into the nitty gritty all right work within payroll fight bravely against relegation and then just continue to stay in the second bundesliga perfectly acceptable uh, no requests. All right, well, we'll see how that goes. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, that was not a good signing, but I was desperate. We'll go through signings here in a little while. Really? Uh, well, Sterling Albion, they're down in League 2. Okay. Um, positive reflection. Fair enough. What were we going to look at? I forgot. Oh, well. I'm not going to do transfers now, so we'll be back here in a minute when we get some news. Oh, I know what I was going to look at. We were going to look and check out if I was in the running, and I am not the favorite. Kevin Epler is. But he's only a one and three-quarter star. Now, he's got a 20 in man management. So he's a much better coach than I am already. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I don't get anything near, near that crazy. Oh, well. All right, guys, we have some news today. We are at June 30th, so contracts have just started to expire. I wanted to run through a couple of transfers. Uh, we're bringing in Ali Smith. We have signed him. Uh, so he's a, is he joining us? Yes, transfer. 
These are transfers. So he was on loan last year, became a starting center back, and we signed him. Josh Patton, we have him coming in on a free. Uh, he is a very solid center back as well. We let our captain go, who was, you know, he just, I just don't think he was good enough. So he's coming in from Newport County. He'll join us tomorrow. Uh, Jamie Rack from Hull City, a midfielder. I really like him a lot. Look at the passing on that guy. 16 passing, 11 first touch. He's got some flair, liking that. Joel Limbert, uh, he will be joining us as well. He's Welsh, and uh, he is a left winger, probably our new starting winger. And Gordon Harrison, uh, he is also a left winger. He'll be challenging for that starting role, but we really needed to upgrade that spot. So that's the guys that are definitively coming in tomorrow. We sold Callum Monroe, our young striker, but we got an offer for $64,000 from him. We've talked about how hard it was to sell anybody. I really didn't want to sell him. I think he's pretty good, but I was like, you know, $64,000 and that was, I mean, he's valued at 38000 now that he's made the move. He was only valued at under $10,000 with us prior to our move up to the league. So this was a big payday for us. Uh, our captain, Joshua McGregor, he's only 21, but not much in the way of upward potential at this point. Three-star total potential. So we went ahead and cut bait with him. The pace and everything was just keeping him from being in the starting lineup. So we were looking to upgrade, so we sold him on a free. We had an offer from someone, but Peter's head came in, and he said that's where he wanted to go. Uh, we're bringing in Scott Ogilvy. Uh, he is a right winger, very talented to fill in over there. He can also fill in in the central mid as well. He'll be depth. Uh, Aleski Yelonen from Celtic on a free. Uh, center back, left, uh, left, uh, center, center mid, left mid, and a center back with a lot of potential. He's probably going to be, his heading is not very good, and he can pass. I think he's going to move into the central mid, but he could rotate and fill some slots for us. Dan Unwin, a young English player, I think he's going to be depth at center back. He could challenge for a starting role. Jordan Johnson was put on the transfer market, and McGinty left, so he was our backup keeper and our only keeper on the senior squad. So we went ahead and signed Johnston for $30,000 from Ross County. Uh, Gavin Ramsey is coming, uh, came in. He's a backup keeper, and these are all keepers. He came in on a free. Uh, Danny Roberts came in on a free. He's got three-and-a-half-star potential, and William Combe cost us one4 thousand uh right back depth he can fill in at center back not great but he so he's more right back he can play left back as well so he's some depth and that's the big moves that we had we did sign some contract extensions as well and you remember last episode the very end we talked about how hard it's going to be to afford the higher salaries. Well, everybody got pay raises. And then look at this. All of our guys are on, you know, 20,000 max. Krasnicki got a new contract, $88,000. Boom. That's what it's going to take to sign championship level players. Um, Unwin coming in, 50, uh, he's on 57.5. He's on loan, 35,000. And uh, Danny Roberts, even our reserve keeper, 39000 So Brian Jones asked for a new contract. He's up to thirty-seven. So you can see that, the, you know, we went from the ten dollars to $15,000 range, basically doubling the expected salary. So that has really sunk it into us. We were hoping to be down around four to 500000 Right now we're at seven hundred and thirty-eight, And we're going to go up over a million dollars uh, per year with the six new signings coming in tomorrow. That's going to be it. I, I'm not going to be able to afford any more, and we're already going to just be losing our butts. But that was what it took just to field a squad this year. Now, having said all that, it may not be our problem. It may not be our problem. So the job interview that we went to in Germany 
they did not hire us. But we did get another job off uh, interview, and we have been offered the job from Lebendorf. So let's take a look at the squad. 450000 transfer budget, 384000 uh, per year on the salary. Uh, so the salary is nowhere near what we're paying currently because we're at a million dollars, right? Per year. Yeah. So um, salary is much, much lower. But oh, I'm sorry, payroll's four million, so it's four times. My salary's three eighty four. Yes, I can, I can, you know, I need to take the job. But let's take a look at Lebendorf. They are in the Skygo Ersta Liga, and I believe that is the second Austrian division. I think so. They're thirty eighth overall in Europe. Tip, oh no, okay, so they're the fourth. Tip three is the 11th. No, I was right. It is the second level. So that's cool. So we're one level below almost cracking the top 10 in Europe. So number 38, and that's right in there with the Super Rattan, Obos Ligen. Uh, so that's kind of the area that we were looking at anyway. I was just trying to stay away from those countries. So if we look at Lebendorf, they finished last year in 10th position so just below mid table they were picked to finish ninth i believe that's last year and then if we come back to this year no that's this year i was hoping that would be last year but we're picked to finish ninth this year 18 to 1 so that's good if we take a look, they want us to finish mid-table, reach the third round of the OFB Cup, and then continue to be an established Ersta Liga team for the foreseeable five-year future. Sign players under the age of 23, not usually an issue. And on my current contract, just for comparison, I'm making $57,500 a year. So... I just don't see any way, as much as I'm enjoying Bonnie Rig Rose, to be true to the spirit of the save as a journeyman. We've got to take the job. It's a jump up in leagues, right? It's it's a jump up in leagues. We are in the Scottish Championship, but they're still 52nd. So we've got a long ways to go. Uh, the Premiership would get us into the top seven, but again, I don't think from a financial standpoint, we're going to be able to compete with any of these teams. Um, we actually set a league record for attendance last year, and it was under 1,000 people. And we talked about that last episode. So, you know, we went through the pros and cons. It was all cons, to be honest. I don't think I can pass this job. They want to put Krasnicki on the transfer list. I just signed him. I'm going to leave that to the new skipper. Although, I might go scout the team and see if Krasnicki is good enough to make Lebendorf. Maybe. Let's start the negotiations. I think I'm going to take the job. Uh, can we make it? Nah, that's, eh, let's do 390. They accept it. I just got a pay raise. Finalize the deal. And boom, we're at Lebendorf. All right, guys. Well, I am going to jump in, start looking at the team, setting everything up. I'm going to, you guys know all these screens coming up. So uh, we'll do next episode, or the remainder of this episode, we'll be taking a look on the map, seeing what it looks like, looking at the stadium, uh, you know, getting to know the club a little bit. And all of those things, and then start looking at the club. But I'm going to go ahead and put tactics in, uh, look and see what we need, start doing some transfer business, because we are in the transfer window, I'm assuming. And we're off. We're off to, this is Austria, correct? I believe it's Austria. So uh, we'll see you guys back here with some Lebendorf information. <laughs>